All right, now let's welcome to the stage the former two-time Unified World Heavyweight Champion. Please welcome Anthony Joshua. All right, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now let's welcome to the stage the former long-reigning WBC World Heavyweight Champion, Deontay Wilder. This is historical. It is a game changer. And you know what changed the game? The first fight we did opening Riyadh season. That was the key to the door. That has changed the whole face of boxing. And this could be the norm, and I believe it will be the norm. We're going to see these great fights. We're seeing people all like-minded working together now. We're all working together to give, make these fights happen. And you know why we're doing it? We're doing it for the fans because they're the ones who count. These are great fights. These are the fights that the, the, the world wants to see, and we will be delivering them on a regular basis. Uh, let's start with Mark Demori. Mark, you have been uh, unbeaten in the last six years. It's uh, 11 wins on the bounce. Big chance for you to shine on December 23rd. Yeah, I've got 11 wins in a row, 10 by knockout, and I'm aware that they haven't been the same class as Filip Hergovic. I've watched his career. I'm, I'm very aware he's very talented, he hits hard, he's got a good chin, but any human being that I fight, I'm going to try and rupture his spleen, I'm going to attack his body, and I'm not going to sit on the end of his jab and try and win a 12-round fight against a guy of that height, looking for a very violent first four rounds, and what will be what will be, but I'm there to try and fight, and I'm there to try and expose something, and I'm very aware he's a very good, strong fighter, I watched him, but I'm there to try, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to try in those first four rounds and let those hands fly and see what can happen. We're all gunslingers. None of us here want to be accountants or, you know, librarians. We're here to fight. We love it. We love the money, don't get me wrong, but we're here because we love to fight. Respect Philip, but I'll let my hands go. But he cannot afford now to slip up. This is, this is it. This is, a, this is a big moment in time, and we're going to find out what Daniel Dubois is all about. Thank you, Frank. Well, let's bring in Jarrell Big Baby Miller. Thank you, Daniel Dubois, for being the dummy to sign the contract, because I'm going to beat your ass. Um, listen, man, proof is in the pudding. When I, I talk that but I back it up every time. So whether it's kickboxing or boxing, I'm going in there and I'm going to rip his head off. You know, there's a saying we have in New York. I mean, if you don't like Vogan, let's cover your ear. We smell bitch in them. And once the bitch is in you, it ain't going nowhere. He quit against Joy Joyce. He got beat up and knocked out by Jab by Usek, and those are small guys. I mean, Julius is big, but he ain't big baby big. So I'm telling you something, when you find a mean guy like me that's throwing 80 punches around, got a good chin, don't quit, come forward, I'm kicking <laughs> and I'm sending him to early retirement, plain and simple. Okay, well let's... Uh, Ask let's your actually, mama too. Let's actually bring in uh, Daniel Dubois here. Daniel, you've just heard a lot of comments there. He says he's going to kick your ass. Uh, he's talked about doing all sorts of things to you on December 23rd. How does that sound? I'm excited for it. You know, this is it. Big time boxing, baby. I want to chop that tree down, and that's, that's what I'm planning to do. Uh, Jarrell, what do you think of Daniel Dubois? I had a twin to be his face. It's plain and simple. I mean, listen, bro. I, like I said before, we could talk the talk and walk the walk. I talk and I back it up. Like I said, I think the tra his new trainer put the battery in his back, try to motivate him to get in there with the likes of me. You know what I mean? He was scared to fight Joseph Parker. I heard Joseph Parker move too much for him, so he don't want to chase him around. So he thought because I'm inactive, he's going to fight a big guy like me. But I come forward and I'm just mean, hungry. And like I said before, there's nothing he's going to do to me that's going to bother me. I'm going to hit him with everything in the kitchen sink, and I'm going to send him back to his training, and I'm going to tell him, I told you so. So listen, plain and simple, come December 21st, I'm going to kick your s Watch. Uh, Daniel, any response to that? that was quite Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm Bring ready for it. I'm motivated for this fight, and you know, after that fight and the emotions that that fight stirred up in me, I'm up for it, and I want to really go go to for this one. Pay? Hey? You're making pay for it? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Good. That's what we want. His promoter got to hype him up because he over there. He's stealing a bag of chips over there, boy. <laughs> Listen, man, I'll tell you right now, man, I'm a fry. Anybody, once I kick his behind, I'm going to buy everybody fish and chips in here. Bet my word on that. And Frank, we're going to talk long term. Don't worry after I cook your boy. I feel bad for you for putting that money behind that dude. It's a wrap. 
But Jero, I've just got one more for you because you have a kind of hostility with a, a number of heavyweights. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen recent things with Deontay Wilder. Of course, you were scheduled at one point to fight Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything to say to anyone else up here? Oh, they can all kiss my black <laughs> Deontay and AJ. I don't like none of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm trying to say? But one thing I can tell you is that after I finish with du Dubois, I definitely want Manuel Chark as he got that belt. Them dudes got losses, and there ain't nothing over there with them, for them belts right now. But I tell you one thing, though. We all know for a fact that AJ don't want no smoke with Deontay. Shut the f up. And even though... Don't start with even, me, you know. Even though... Yeah. Listen, Miller, don't start with me. Even though... You know, I'll come though, over there and listen, slap you, and I see you brought your mom shit, here again. I time. see you brought your mom here again, because you need a rampage. Boy, shut up. You're not built like that. But like I was saying, we all know that... No Clown. smoke with Deontay. As, as much as I don't like Deontay, I know Deontay will put them in the grave. So let's make, I'll make it easy for you. Either you can fight Deontay and go to the grave, or fight me and go to the hospital. Either way, you can get your up. So pick your poison. So let's stop all that talking. Take Eddie Hearn to my and pick somebody that really can fight. Either me or Deontay, one of us Americans, whoop your Stop hey, running over you, your English you, muffin. You are not doing listen, nothing. Bro, listen, bro, you soften them babies. You are not to me. Watch your you, mouth. You let my little cousin Miller, Eddie Watch your you. mouth. You soften them babies. Stop running, running from me. Stop running from Deontay. Man, up and fight somebody with a heartbeat, bro. Shut up. When people come to see heavyweight boxing, they come to see excitement. But most of all, they come to see knockouts. And one thing for sure, you know, when I come, that's what I come to deliver. I got everything I want to need in life. But to come back and to finish what I started, it's going to mean everything to me. To just put that, that little icing on the cake, with everything else that I've accomplished, the statue that I have, and um, many more things that will come in the future. What do you think of Joseph Parker? This is a fight that was talked about a few years ago. Many times throughout my career, I have many, well, I didn't have the opportunity to, to have unification fights. I've delivered opportunity to guys, but the energy hasn't been returned back to me for various reasons. But, you know, God is good at the end of the day, and with Joseph Parker, you know, um, I think highly of him. He's, a, he's an amazing human being, you know, as a man. And uh, he's a great fighter as well. And it's going to be uh, a remarkable feeling to finally be able to share the ring with him once and for all. Well, Deontay, I've heard you refer to your power as a blessing and a curse. What does that mean? I mean, it's a blessing because I have the, the ability to to knock a single man out with one punch. You know, this is something that's been with me all my life, not something that's just been developed. And the curse has been that I'm able to do that. It allow people to shy away from me, to become fearful of, of, of what may happen, you know, when they, when they fight against me. And sometimes that can be uh, harmful to the, to, the, to the business of boxing. Because as fans, they just want to see the best fight the best, no matter what. Win, lose, or draw. And that's what it should be about. One final thing, Deontay. Look, a fight that you have been linked to for so many years. I understand Joseph Parker is your next fight, but I can't ignore that I have yourself there and I have Anthony Joshua here, a fight that has been linked for so long. Do you have anything to say to him here at this press conference table? Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's good to be in the same room with him to see him um, face to face, you know. It's been a long time coming. I wish you nothing but the best, bro. And um, hopefully soon, we can get it on in the ring and get the people what they want, once and for all. But I wish you nothing but the best, even if it doesn't happen. But I, I believe it's gonna happen. I believe it will. It's about that time. But even if it don't, I wish you nothing but the best, nothing less.